guys, I just want to give you a quick update. Uh, Kaylin's not here right now. She's at work with Little Bug. Um, he's at the nursery, which Kaylin works at. I got a call today from our DSS worker, and this video is pretty much just going to be a full update. Um, everything that we know, we want to tell you, and I want to go ahead and do it while he's not here because obviously, like we said in the last video, we don't like to talk about him while he's around. So we got a call from the DSS worker today, and the update is, well, let me go back. He came to us Friday night, going on three weeks now. This coming Friday will be three weeks. He was taken from his parents that day, brought to our house that evening, um, and he's been with us for almost three weeks now. He's been doing really, really, really good. I'm actually shocked at how good he's doing. He um, is no longer crying about going number two in his diaper. He um, just comes and wakes us up and he's like, hey, gotta go to the bathroom. All right, awesome. Um, he's doing better even with washing his hair. I washed his hair the other day and he didn't cry at all. But like I said, the DSS worker called us today and the update is that we're going to start visitations with the father really soon. So apparently the mother is still not allowed to see him. The mother doesn't give visitation rights for a while. And the father is not allowed to keep him. But the father is allowed to see Little Bug. Um, so what I have to do is Kaylin and I will take Little Bug to a DSS office. And there, there will be a supervised visit for one hour twice a month with his father. <sighs> I'm really, I'm like, I'm really concerned about that because I'm concerned about him kind of regressing a little bit and I don't know, it's like he hasn't said a word about his parents. He hasn't said one thing about his sisters. Oh, by the way, I don't know if we've told you yet, but he has two older sisters. Uh, they've been in foster care once before. This is their second time. Uh, he hasn't said a word about his sisters, hasn't said a word about his family, hasn't said anything about any of that. If it were me, I know I would be really concerned about my kid. Um, I don't know his father. I did find his mother on Facebook though. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a second. But I don't know his father. I don't know him at all. I've seen him on Facebook, but he really doesn't post anything. Like his mother posts like five times a day. He hasn't posted much of anything. I told the DSS worker that I would like to meet the father um, before Little Bug goes in and has the visitation. Because I want to let the father know, I want to let him know that he is in really, really good hands. The father may, I don't know, I think he may be concerned about who he's with, because, you know, they don't know. The parents don't know who their kid's with or anything like that. And it's, you know, I could see that being extremely difficult. But I want to let the father know that he's in really good hands. He has a fantastic room. He loves his room. He loves going to daycare. He woke up this morning asking us if we were going to school. And, you know, of course, we don't go to school until 2, so not quite yet. But he's having a great time at school. He loves story time. Today, Kalen was going over colors and shapes with him. He's doing really, really good. He's just doing really good. And I would hate to jeopardize that. Um... I am really afraid about him regressing after that visit, coming back to us and kind of being like the first day he came to us, you know? So I'm concerned about that. And I want to let the father know that he's in really good hands. Like we're taking really good care of him and we care about him so much. Like literally I wake up in the morning thinking about him. I go to bed at night thinking about him. Everything we do throughout the day is like we have him in mind through everything we do. Kaylin, she goes to bed with him at night and stays with him until he falls asleep, gets up with him at 3.30 in the morning, takes him to the potty, comes back with him until he falls asleep, wakes up with him at 7 a.m. every morning. I want to believe that if he goes back to his parents, he's gonna have fantastic care and they're gonna love him and just love on him and show him that he's important. <sighs> but I just don't know. I want to believe it's true. But I don't I don't think it is. I'm going to meet the father before the visitation and 
just maybe show them some videos, show them like how we've been taking care of them. I want to do that because the father wants Little Bug to move in with some family members of his. They have to go through a home study, they have to go through a background check, but they don't have to do the whole foster care program like we had to do. And so it's very possible that he will end up with these family members. Guys, it's hard to explain because, like I said, I found his mother on Facebook and I literally, I know this might sound creepy, but I literally went through every single photo, every single video, read almost every single comment. I learned a lot. I learned a whole lot. His sister's father, I learned stuff about him. They're all three from different dads. Um, him and his siblings. I learned his eating habits. There was one photo of Little Bug in a cart at some grocery store or something like a Dollar Mart and there were nothing but Doritos, soda, um, Little Debbie cakes. I think I might have saw two bananas but snack food, junk food and I just, I don't know, it really breaks my heart to think that this kid who could possibly have a fantastic life. Like, we are gonna treat him so good to think that he's gonna go back to a situation that is not nearly as good. Um, I saw another photo where he, his room, he didn't have a room. He shared his room with his two sisters and he slept on a crib-sized mattress on the floor. And now he has his own bed, it's a full-size bed. He has his own cubby, he puts his shoes back where they go. He has books galore. He has coloring books, he has Legos. He's got a whole acre in the backyard to run around and play in. He goes to the park with us all the time. And he loves his daycare. I just... I really do want what's best for him and I want to believe that if he goes with these family members or if he goes with whoever these people his dad is talking about that it will be best for him. I just I can't believe it. I, I just don't believe it. I want to but I just don't. He hasn't said a word about his parents. I remember I went down to the Hickmans in the Hickman vlogs. Uh, if you don't watch them, you absolutely should. I'll link them below. But I went down and visited them. They have a two-year-old son, Ross. He is absolutely awesome. And Ross, one day, I picked him up and I was putting him in my car, in the car seat, and he cried bloody murder because I guess he thought we were taking him somewhere without his parents. That's really the only experience I have with a two-year-old wanting his parents and crying for his parents. But to think that this boy in our house has not cried for his parents, not cried for his sisters. The only time he's cried is when he's pooped in his diaper or had to get shots. Oh, that's another thing. This is for a whole nother vlog, but we took him to the doctor. He hasn't had shots since he was six months old. Six months. So we had to get four shots. They had to test his blood. They poked his finger, squeezed blood out. Oh, I was so mad about this. I literally started crying. I was so mad. Um, the woman who was squeezing the blood out into a little tube, she dropped it. She dropped the tube. I was so furious. And seeing him in that kind of pain, I picked him up. I walked out of the room. I said, you're done. We're not doing this anymore. It's over with. And I literally, like started crying because he was in so much pain. I don't know guys. I don't know what to do. I There's nothing I can do. I have no control over the situation. This is all a state run thing. I can document and I can state my case that he's in a very, very, very good situation. But if the sisters, which this is another thing. The sisters have to go and testify against the mother coming up soon in about a week. So if they say nothing's wrong, nothing happened, then they all go back to the mother. Um, the reason he's in care, and I don't even know if we said this before, and I don't even know if I should, but the reason he's in care is because one of the sisters went to school with a black eye multiple times. I'm really, really mad 
and really frustrated and my heart has grown for this little boy so much I'm literally attached to him and I don't want anyone I don't want anyone to be taken away from their family I don't want that for anyone at all but to think that this mother and this father like the father is not even allowed to keep him the father has done something to the point to where the state says no you cannot keep your own child. He can't raise his hand and say, oh, the mother's unfit, I'll take him. I don't wanna to say too much about the mom, but I did. I found her on Facebook and I looked at everything and so that's the update. That's what's going on. Guys, if you're signing up for foster care, go ahead and get ready, prepare as much as you can because you're signing up for intense heartache hope you guys enjoyed the video um give a like and let me tell you if you're one of the people who are giving the dislikes just go away i don't want you here honestly there's been a few dislikes on the last few videos i posted and if that's you move along okay if that's not you and you're not subscribed yet go ahead and hit the subscribe button we have a long journey ahead we're on the foster care list again um, open beds list is what they call it. We have a crib next in the next room over. We're ready to go. We have a whole nursery. Um, so we'll be getting an infant. Talk to you guys later. Audio.